Hello guys, this is Farjana. In today's quick tutorial, I will show you how to create this kind of pop-up with any button or with any images. For example, this one or this one and this one. So, I will show you how to create this type of pop-up in Elementor completely free. So today I will use a free plugin and using this free plugin we can create all this type of nice animated pop-up item. So we can create this kind of pop-up with different button and also we can create this kind of pop-up area with any image. So without any further ado, let's get started. First I'm going to dashboard and then go to plugin and add new plugin. And now I'm searching for premium add-ons. And this is the plugin premium add-ons for Elementor. So we are going to install this one. Going to install and activate it then i'm going to pages and here is several pages already created before this is a already developed website so now for example i'm going to about me page going to edit with elementor and now if we search from element list in the left side we can see in the bottom area Here is premium add-ons. These all are coming from our new plugin. So here when we scroll down and here is the premium model box. So we are going to use this one. And by default this is a button. So here when we click over the button, you can see here is a pop-up box coming here. So now here is some more customization option. So this is for header area. So when we click here, this pop up, here is the header area. So from here we can make it hide or show. Then icon type, we can add any icon with our header. For example, here if we add any icon, we can see here is the icon showing with our title. Then here is icon size. We can also increase or decrease the icon size. Then title for the model box. Model box title. We can make it to about me. This is now about me. And here, here is the content to show. So by default, here is showing a text editor so model box content this text is showing by default to this content area also there is another options elementor template so if we select any template now we can select any pre-made layout or pre-made template from here so here already different kind of template i already created this website so we can select any one like contact form and now if we check, you can see this form and this template is coming in this pop-up area. So here is first upper close button. I mean this button. So if we want to show or hide from here, we can make it. And lower close button. So in the bottom area, here is a close button. So we can also make it off and here is interest animations so when we click on this button how this pop-up will come by default this is fading down we can also add some more effect like zoom in and here is some more cool effect we can add any one as our choice here is rotated in so all these are very cool we can select any one 
and next here is animation duration and delay so how many speed will be for animation and after how many seconds it will come and then here is some more options for trigger option I mean these options for this button so here trigger type by default is button and we can also set here is a image so instead of button we can add a image so if we select any image from our media for example this one or any one okay so we can set an image so when we click on this image our pop-up is coming and here also more options here is text option so we can add any text only text is showing we can change this text from here and finally there is a on page load so we can set it this pop-up in a way so when any page will load this pop-up will come after this page loading this is a very cool and very useful module we may also need this feature in many cases so for this time i'm just using button or image and here is the image size we can also customize the image size and also the alignment and in the similar way just same as the other module this module also have the styling option so from here we can also customize our trigger option so we can also increase the border radius we can also add our border hover effect shadow so we can add all this and here is the header so for pop-up header like this header we can also change the color we can add typography we can set a background color and border type for example we can change the color we can change typography we can change the background color and for the model box i mean this box area here is also more options content background color width max width background type and all this you can check one by one as you need and also here is advanced option and for this kind of template if we want to hide the header area we can also do that from here so now if we check it you can see the header area is hidden and the footer also hidden and here as we can add the template in this area so here is much more flexibility much more way to design our pop-up area so if we just check the plugin demo website here is many demo they are showing so we can get idea how we can use this model pop-up in different way here is image gallery you can add any image gallery with our pop-up here is YouTube video so we can add any YouTube video in our pop-up here is Google Maps here is contact form and anything this kind of structure this kind of layout and also we can add different kind of animation as our need and in the below here we can also add this kind of subscription form this kind of style with image so you can see here is fully flexibility and full customization option as we need okay so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial